Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to yet another drum playthrough review. Thank you all for tuning in to stop by. It's great to have everybody here. And for all you who are brand new, hi, my name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi instrumentalist, and we do videos like these so that way we can better learn from drummers and musicians who are better than we are, analyze their technique, break it down into a nice and easy to digest form, and use that so that way. It can influence our playing and make us better musicians. And we're going to be reviewing an absolute Chad on the drum channel today. I'm sure you guys have heard of this fella. He's played with all sorts of huge bands and he's currently going to be going on tour with Sepultura. He got popular starting out as a jazz drummer on YouTube and since has uh, blown up because he plays with all sorts of metal bands now and I think it's absolutely sick. If you've heard of his name, I'm sure it sounds very familiar. His name is Grayson Neckritman. The dude is an absolute legend. The dude is a beast. I enjoy watching his videos because I like how he's mixed up so many multiple styles and varieties of different, you know, play styles and whatnot and, and subgenres and made it into something that's an absolutely unique and really cool playing style that's really unique to him. It's like when you hear that, you're like, ah, that's that's Grayson Neckerman. He plays stuff like that. The dude's an absolute legend. And there's a cool video that surfaced of uh, of him just a couple of a uh, couple of minutes ago when I was searching through the internet for some drum covers to look at and analyze and different drummers and uh, it's his Whiplash drum solo that I found years and years and years ago. Now this drum solo popped off for Necroman. It's uh, got 13 million views and counting. And it's the entire drum solo from the movie Whiplash, which if you don't know what that movie is, I guarantee you should probably go watch it. It's a drumming movie. And it's if you're a drummer and you haven't watched that movie, that's, that's basically sacrilege. Go watch it. But in essence, it's a movie that follows the story of a uh, young man trying to become the best jazz drummer that he can, working for one of the hardest music teachers ever known to man. And... It's an absolutely phenomenal movie, and there's a lot of cool subplots into it, and I, I digress. Just go watch it if you haven't already. But most of us who are watching this channel have probably watched that by now, and uh, everyone knows that at the end of that movie, there's an absolutely insane drum solo, so we're going to be checking out Grayson's playthrough of that drum solo here today. Now, I think this is pretty sick, so you guys should uh, probably think this is sick as well, more than likely. You guys, I know we all get along pretty well on this channel, I'm sure. Someone broke a glass downstairs, I think. But let's get into it and let's see what Grayson's got to show us because there's uh there's a lot of cool techniques I know that he's uh he's gonna demonstrate in this video. Before we start though, I check my YouTube analytics as any good creator should, and only about 0.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. What are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're gonna have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's gonna be a fun, fun journey. All right. Well, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get into it and let's take a look at this fella. What's crazy is that he kind of looks like a young Ben Shapiro, doesn't he? Nice bonnet triplets. Bonham triplets. This is a bonnet triplets. I'm an idiot. So, just a couple things to mention first. If you look at his technique, he's very loose, very sweaty. This is definitely multiple takes. He's got a lot of the dynamics right as well. A lot of good ghost notes. Very good control. You can look at him too. He looks he looks like he's uh he's struggling. He's adding in all sorts of extra stuff too with the stick tricks. I like that. Yeah, there's a reason why Grayson is so good, man. This dude's put so many years into drumming.
And even drumming traditional grip like that too, man. That's that's beyond me, man. And this is pretty clean. It's pretty dang accurate to the movie. I will say that for sure. Ah, uh, the classic. This is the classic part right here. Traditional grip is definitely one of those things where I can never really wrap my mind around it. So the dudes who can play traditional grip is like... Kudos to you, man. You definitely know a lot more than me. He's got to wipe the sweat off of that hand. Oh, that hand was cramping up, you could tell. He's got beads of sweat dripping off of his nose. That's just, that's how you know he's putting in the effort for this. And he's got the whipping motion going on too. That's really good. He's just putting everything into it, man. This is this is so fun to watch. And he's even adding in flames and all that in there too. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a reason why. Uh, so the why a lot of metal bands really like uh, having Grayson on their tours, man. That dude is an absolute legend. Well, let's jump into the review because there's definitely a lot to break down there, especially with uh, especially with his technique. Let's jump into it. All right. Well, Grayson Necroman, dude, that was wickedly cool. First things, obviously, that I've mentioned. First off, let's just let's talk about it, man. Traditional grip. Again, traditional grip was never something that I fully understood or could fully wrap my mind around. But uh, I'm gonna do my best anyway to try and explain it. And it, this is this is the worst part too, because my first two drum teachers were jazz drummers, so like I should I should know this by now. Anyway, traditional grip. So usually with traditional grip, usually on your power hand or your dominant hand, which is gonna be for most like 90% of the population, your right hand, you're gonna be holding it basically like match grip, just like a regular drummer would for the most part, at least in the 90 percentiles that you'll find. So with the uh, traditional grip, you're going to be holding it kind of like this. You'll notice how it's not exactly matched grip, kind of like with this hand. I'm keeping these two fingers on the stick this way, and then the knuckles or the backs of my fingers are going to be on the stick this way for my ring and my pinky finger. And a lot of the motion is going to be coming from my thumb controlling the rebound. Because you'll notice in there, he's keeping it fairly loose. He's not letting these fingers really like tighten up or anything like that. A lot of it's coming from the wrist and a lot of it's coming from the thumb. And that's what honestly helps control that rebound and control how that goes. It's kind of like if you were to use finger technique with, you know, regular match grip or something like that. See how my fingers right here, they're pinching the stick. That's allowing a fulcrum to happen. So that way when I kick in my fingers, it's allowing the stick to move and rebound and all that, and the fingers are controlling the rebound. Very similar concept right here. I'm creating a fulcrum with these two fingers right here instead, my middle and then my ring finger, and my thumb is helping to create that fulcrum along with my uh, my wrist, and that's what's controlling the rebound. So that's how I've always understood traditional grip to be. Now, granted, they may not be the most accurate description of it, but that's the best I could do for someone who doesn't even play traditional grip or really has found it very enigmatic for most of his uh, most of his time drumming. So I guess that means I need to develop that style and build more time with that. But who knows, you know? 
maybe I'll find out that that's something that I like playing. Now, when it comes to his foot technique, obviously a lot of whole leg motion, full leg motion that's going on right there. And most of that is just because he's not playing like fast, wicked double bass or anything like that, at least in this playthrough here, because there's not fast double bass in the whiplash playthrough and the whiplash uh, solo. So, I mean, like, you know, jazz is not really the double bass genre, if we're being real with ourselves. What we can say for sure is that definitely a lot of power, definitely had a really great coordination that's going on between the hands and the feet, because not only that, but on his hi-hat stand, and he's keeping other rhythms going on with that as well while doing something completely different with the bass drum. And that is something that takes a lot of skill and effort to be able to train. Not everyone's going to be able to build that overnight. So if you ever do decide that that's something you want to do instead of doing like a double pedal rhythm or something like that. And, you know, instead of doing something like metal and going into other stuff like fusion, jazz or funk or something like that. Definitely developing the limb independence to be able to use your hi-hat independently with rhythms and then, you know, fill out claves with your bass drum and whatnot that's definitely a vital skill to learn but yeah man Grayson Necroman is definitely a very interesting and a very uh very talented drummer now you can catch him on tour with Sepultura currently he used to also play for suicidal tendencies as well so you know do with that what you will but other than that that dude is an absolute legend of a drummer and I definitely enjoy uh I enjoy getting to watch him when I can he's an absolute beast so thank you guys for tuning in and stopping by be sure to like comment share and subscribe also let me know down below what you thought in the comments and start a conversation I'd like to talk to you guys and with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this one. So cheers, have a great rest of your night, and God bless.